today we continue the series on the Bible creation account. In today's teaching, we wanted to look at day one of creation. And obviously we've said that when the scripture talks about um, on the first day God created this and on the second day God created that, um, the scripture is referring to a day as um, in the realm of the spirit and not uh, a physical day as in uh, on, on the earth. And the passage of scripture that we'll open up with today um, is in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. Scripture says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And so we've already mentioned in the series thus far that Verse 1 is the, the account of when God actually did create the heavens and the earth physically, when he laid the foundation of the earth. And now we pick up in Job 38.4. So that particular event when God created the, both the spiritual and the physical earth occurred in ages past that we have no idea just how far back in time it actually does go. So that's, that had already uh, happened. Then we get to verse 2 of this passage of Scripture. And so, before God ever said, let there be light, which we will pick up now in verse 3, God had already created the earth. So the earth was in place um, before this uh, event took place, on, as recorded for us in Genesis chapter 2, in Genesis chapter, sorry, Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, and then verse 3 to 5. Um, but the scripture goes on to say the earth was without form and void and darkness was over the face of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And so what we said is that when God originally created the earth, phys the physical aspect of the earth, that he encapsulated the, the earth um, with a mantle of water and he also placed it in a mantle of darkness. And so in verse 2 of this passage, all that is happening is that the Spirit of God is describing what the state of the earth was when God um, decided now was the time for the physical earth to be manifested in his timeline of creation. And so the next event in creation was about to transpire. So the scripture talks about the fact that the earth was without form and void. So what does it mean? It simply means that because the earth was covered in a mantle of water, there was no uh, uh, physical land um, scape that was visible. And so to the, the naked eye, it looked like it was without form and void. And it was covered with darkness. And so they, we said that that was the state that God had originally placed it into, awaiting for this particular day to arrive when God would now begin the next phase in his creation events. And scripture is very clear to us along this line about the fact that when God originally created the earth that he covered it, encapsulated it with a mantle of water. We pick that up in Psalm 105 verse 5 and 6. Scripture says, You who laid the foundations of the earth so that it should not be moved forever, you covered it with the deep as with the garment. Speaking about, because the scripture says that darkness was on the face of the deep. That's talking about the darkness that God had encapsulated uh, the earth in. But it goes on to say, the waters stood above the mountains. So again, very clearly, when God originally created the earth, the physical earth, he encapsulated it with water, and he then put a mantle of darkness around that as well. And so verse one describes when God created the earth, as we say we have no idea just how far back in time that really did take place. And then verse 2 describes what the earth looked like during the, from the time that God originally created it until this point arrived when God was going to uh, move into his next phase of creation. And that we pick up now in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 and to 5. The scripture says, then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. 
So the evening and the morning were the first day. And so this is the um, next phase in God's creation of the earth, the physical earth. And the first thing that we see that God created on this particular day is light. Now the light that God created on this day was not the light of the sun because uh, the Genesis, Genesis account is very clear to us that God only created the sun on day four of the Genesis creation account. So where did this light come from that God spoke into existence? Well, this light came from heaven itself. The Apostle Paul experienced a micro version of this light on the road to Damascus. Um, in Acts 9.3 it's recorded for us that when he was on the road to Damascus, that he describes a light that shone from heaven that was brighter than the noonday sun. And so that is the light that God spoke into existence on this occasion in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 when God said, let there be light. It was a heavenly light uh, that shone upon the earth directional from heaven. Um, so it wasn't the light of the sun. Um, so this particular light that God put in place stayed in place from uh, day one of creation all the way through to day four when God replaced this light with the light of the sun. So how long did this light stay in place during that creation period of time from day one of, of Genesis um, and until day four? Well, scientists tell us that uh, they've estimated, and we, you know, we, we, we're not saying that the, what the scientists have been able to discover thus far is entirely accurate, but it is certainly a lot more accurate than what has been um, hypothesized in the past. And so what scientists do tell us from what their observations are of the, of the known universe today is that the universe itself is roughly about 14 billion years old. They then estimate that this, the age of the sun um, which is, is central to our solar system, they, they estimate the age of the sun to be roughly 4.5 billion years old. And so the, the heavenly light that God spoke into existence on day one of creation would have then have to have remained in place for a period of uh, longer than roughly 10 billion years. Well, you know, we, we have no idea how long it would have had to have been in place. But it would have had to be in place um, before the sun was created and even before the universe was created. So we're talking about a period of time of roughly 10 billion, maybe 11 billion years that this heavenly light shone upon the earth. So how did God create day and night then? Because if the light was shining directional from heaven on the earth, where did the day and night aspect come from? Well, when God created the earth, he created the earth to revolve on its axis. And so that has always been in place. And so as the earth revolved on its axis, um, the light that shone directional from heaven had the same effect as if it was a, the light from the sun. And so as the earth turned and revolved on its axis, it would have experienced both day and night. Thus God was able to separate light and darkness because obviously the, the aspect of the earth that was facing the light from heaven would have experienced day and the part of the earth that was facing away from the light from heaven on that, from in that period of time would have experienced darkness, thus our Lord calling that night. And so that is really all that God created on day one is that he created the light to shine upon the earth and it revealed to us what the state of the earth was like at that time. It was a watery earth because there was no visible land features at all. All of the surface of the earth was, um, the land surface of the earth was under water at that point in time. And as we, as we go into the creation accounts, we will actually see that scientists actually do um, concur with the biblical account from that point of view because science uh, does show us um, from what they've been able to estimate and from their observations that the earth in fact was covered in water at the outset of its creation and so that ties in with what scripture does reveal to us but on day one God created the light that light was a heavenly light and that light
light shone upon an earth that rotated on its axis, thus separating day and night, light and darkness. I'm going to end the teaching on that point.